This video is sponsored by Honkai Impact 3rd. From the makers of Genshin Impact, Mihoyo are back with another update from their other game, Honkai Impact 3rd. Honkai Impact is an action RPG that you can play on mobile or PC and look, I don't need to say much more. Mihoyo have been pushing the boundary for mobile games for years now. The combat system is fast paced, highly satisfying and I mean just look at how good it looks. Right now, the captains of the global server are welcoming you with an anniversary celebration. You can get amazing rewards of over 40 supply cards and also receive the Hersha of the Void and her exclusive weapons for free. She's one of the most powerful queens in the game and all you have to do to get her is just participate in the event. Not only that, but Honkai have also added another character, the Hersha of Sentience. She's got a sword, whip and spear that you can swap between and her ult does massive AoE damage while activating a special form where she can unleash a barrage of blows which can on her targets and also she's hot <laughs> and lastly the developers have given everyone a gift for the lunar new year in the form of this beautiful new skin it's available to everyone participating in this event which only lasts for a limited time so if you haven't tried out honkai impact third already then all you need to do is click the link in the description to give it a go today and with that said let's get on with the video light novel title even if you've never read a single light novel, you definitely know when you're watching an anime that's adapting a light novel because the titles are fucking stupid. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Reborn as a vending machine, now I wander the dungeon. World End, what will you do at the end of the world? Will you save me? Will you- I can't actually remember the title name, this is so fucking stupid. Most people think that when making a good book or movie title, you should think of something short, snappy and memorable that encapsulates everything that the story is about. That's the smart thing to do, right? Fuck that. Trying to be intelligent? That's pretty cringe, bro. Why would you want to waste brain cells thinking of a clever title when you can just make a sentence long synopsis and just make that the title? And that's exactly what light novels did. I remember a time when light novel titles weren't like this when it was normal to have titles like Bakano and Spice and Wolf and the word Isekai wasn't invented yet. But over the years, they've just gotten progressively longer, more ridiculous and more stupid. So stupid, in fact, that, you know what? I bet even a fucking robot can make better titles. Now look, I know memeing on light novel titles is not a new thing for the anime community. There's just a certain way that light novel titles are structured that makes them sound like light novel titles as opposed to titles for any other medium. Like, can you imagine if George Orwell's 1984 was actually called I'll rebel against the totalitarian states but Oni-chan is watching me? Or if the Bible was just called The Melancholy of Jesus Christ? Oh man, I'm definitely going to hell for that one. My favourite part of that series was the last book, The Reappearance of Jesus Christ. That volume's a fucking banger, alright? I'll fucking stop. But what is it about light novel titles that make them sound like light novel titles? Like, I'm sure I'm not the only person who's been describing themselves or their day and in the process just accidentally made a light novel title. Something like, I was filming a YouTube video, but then I realized I hadn't done the washing. Dark, I told you to do that yesterday! One easy way to think about it is that you can just make some kind of stupid sentence in the first person perspective and just fill in the gaps with different words. So you can theoretically make a light novel title generator using this theory. All you have to do is create a basic sentence structure like, my adjective family member can't be this adjective. Or, I was verb as a noun and now I live as a job title in this place name. And then all you have to do is fill in the gaps with words like another, world, princess, dungeon, reincarnated, and BAM! You've got a brand new isekai. There's already a few meme light novel title generators which I think use this basic principle, but the only reason they work is because I recognize the sentence structure because, well, I'm a human. What I wanted to see is if an AI could essentially replicate this without having me telling it, this is what a light novel title sounds like. And going further beyond that, would an AI be able to make a title that could fool a real human into thinking that this was a real light novel? So, here's the plan. Number one, make some kind of AI learning program that could make convincing light novel titles without having me or any other humans telling it how it's done. Number two, Find some lab rats, I mean friends, and then test them to see if they could tell the difference between a real human-made light novel title and an AI-generated one. I thought this was a fantastic idea that was super interesting and I couldn't wait to try it out. I had just one small problem. 
I know absolutely fuck all about AI. Luckily, by complete coincidence, I asked my Patreon Discord server to see if there was anyone who could help me out, and by complete chance, one of my patrons happened to be a software engineer who specializes in AI. Man, I really rolled the SSR gacha on that one. Say hi, Fabi. Hi. All right, enough about him. With this help, we decided to use GPT-2 as a base an AI made by OpenAI, a research organization founded by Elon Musk. So why GPT-2? Well, GPT-2 is a highly complex AI that can translate text, summarize passages, answer questions, and even create text outputs that can sometimes be indistinguishable to a real human. And also it's free. So how does it work? Well, the GPT architecture implements a deep neural network in which input is processed by multiple layers of neurons whose weight determines the activation patterns of subsequent layers. And the final layer of neurons constitutes the output of the network. This means absolutely nothing to me. I'm just reading the wiki article. Basically, you can think of the AI kind of like a brain, with it being just a highly complex statistical model that's made up of millions or billions of parameters that kind of act like neurons in a brain. Is that right, Fabi? I mean, that's a very oversimplified way of putting it, but I guess... All right, as long as it makes you sound smart. Now, GPT-2 was trained to learn English by feeding its millions of datasets from around the internet, from wiki articles, to Reddit posts, to news articles, to tweets, to... I really hope they didn't feed it for Jan. Oh, God, can you imagine if an AI realized its own sentience through the internet and its first thoughts were pain, Peko? So, you have this very complex AI model that theoretically knows English and English grammar and sentence structure, and what are we gonna do? absolutely fucking ruin it because we're gonna feed it light novels man imagine firing up 1.5 billion neurons to learn english only to be taught how to make shitty isekai titles so on top of the base program we can train it with a specific data set to see if it can replicate any patterns within that data set in our case we took the entire bookwalker data set and just fed it all the light novel titles within that data set this video isn't sponsored by bookwalker but thank you daddy bookwalker and thus she was born the Title Recommendation Autonomous Systems Hierarchy, Trashbot. And here she is, Trashbox 3000. I said trash box, didn't I? But yes, this is it. I don't know what you are expecting. You know, I have this image that I said I was making an AI program and the first thing people thought was, oh God, Gigux making the next Skynet that will bring about the end of the world through anime titties. No guys, it's a fucking EXE program that outputs text files. It's not that exciting. But yeah, this is the first time I've seen it. I haven't played around with it at all yet. Fabi did say, and I quote, I can't be asked to fix this user interface so you're stuck with this window size. He didn't really say that, I'm just fucking with you. So instead, we we are just going to copy all the titles this makes to a text file where we can read them all. Now, like I said, I haven't played around with this at all yet, so this could just output complete gibberish. Really hope it doesn't, because then this would be a really boring video. But yeah, I don't think there's anything more that needs to be said, so let's just jump into it. You know, I did trust Fabi a lot with this. He could have just put a virus on my computer and I would be none the wiser. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. <laughs> What the fuck is this first result? Sister Wolf in the closet. How to become a molester. I'm so gored. What? <laughs> oh God, what have I created? I don't even know how to describe that. Is gored even a real word or did the AI just make this up? Hold on, let me, let me check. Nope, it literally just made up a word. You know, I'm really glad that this has been made by an emotionless AI because... I already could see Twitter cancelling this light novel already, even though it doesn't exist. Brilliant. Off to a great start. You know what? This one doesn't actually sound too bad. Tales of the Magus and the Beast Lord of the Bizarre Kingdom. Awakening of the Seven Stars. This sounds almost generic enough that I would ignore it if it was an anime adaptation. Okay, this one actually legit almost sounds like a real light novel title. Sorceress Summon in Another World. My little sister's marriage is a dream to reincarnate as an elf. You know what? That's pretty damn good. Unfortunately, one dead giveaway though is is when the AI obviously took one of the big franchises and tried to make its own title. The hero's tale of the commonplace demon lord, the ancient magus of Harahi Suzumiya. I think this is three different franchises stitched into one. This is literally just a Frankenstein light novel title. And then there are some which just make absolutely no sense. Like, in another world, a certain magical index item is become unique in another world, Kyoto Princess, which is the magical index item. I am the strongest in the world as a villainess, a fake detective agency. I try to pick up girls at birth.
Good evening, paedophiles. What the fuck? <laughs> I tried to pick up girls at birth. <gasps> oh god! I didn't think we could find new levels of illegal. But I think we just did. You know, where'd you even go after this? Are people gonna be exposed and you twit longer than 10 years being like, Yes, your honor. I was still a single-celled organism when he tried to slide into my DMs. Fuck, did I just describe cells at work? You know, one thing I'm noticing is that I don't know why this is, but it seems to have a problem with repetition sometimes. Because you got titles like Cold Focus, Black Clover, Black Clover, Black Clover, Clover, Black Clover, Black Clover. No, it's not even Black Clover. <laughs> it's Black Cover. All right, let's try this again. Cold Focus, Black Cover, Black Cover, Black Cover, Cover, Black Cover, Blue Cover, Black Cover, Blue Cover. And then it's something like this. Kuma 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 Bear Kuma Kuma Bear to the Lost World. Does someone want to tell the AI that Kuma literally means bear? It literally just made a title called Bear 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 to the Lost World. But you know what? If it keeps it simple enough, then it can actually find a pretty generic title sometimes. Like, my big sister lives in another world. And just adding a shit ton of exclamation marks and question marks at the end. Now, I think we succeeded in making some pretty stupid light novel titles, but we can do better. I want it to be able to make really convincing titles. So even though we can't affect how the AI program learns, we can fine tune it a little bit. So we can edit things like the minimum title length it needs to be and the maximum title length it needs to be. And also we have these values called top K and top P. Now to try and explain this in the most simplest of terms, you got top K. Now with top K, you know the function on your phone that sometimes recommends the next word it thinks you're trying to type out and it gives you a certain amount of words to choose from? That is the top K. So the higher the top K is, the more word choices the AI has to choose from when it's constructing a sentence. And then you have top P, and this chooses the quality of the words. And I'm not really sure how to explain this simply without losing a bunch of you, but to put in the most simplest terms, the higher the number of top P, the less likely it is for the sentence to be grammatically correct. That's a very oversimplified way of looking at it, but I'm gonna try and fine tune it to see if we can actually get some good light novel titles. All right, you know what? Just by fiddling around with it, I've already gotten way better results already. It's not completely off the rails, but some of these could pass as real light novel titles, I swear to God. I mean, you got pretty generic ones like The World's Finest Shooter, again. God, I feel like this just needs a bit more fine tuning with there. I'll be the master of death survives in a leading character of average sex. I've read some stupid light novel titles like that. I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference between this and a real light novel title. You know, I'm actually gonna start a new notepad of titles that I think might actually sound like real light novel titles. Yes, just like Alice in Wonderland, the story of a magical girl and her princess. You know what? That's, that's, that's going on the list. That is going on the list. You just made the list! My Little Pony series, the miscat of the seven deadly sins. Where the hell did they get My Little Pony from? Wait, I gotta check. Is My Little Pony on the light novel list that we fed it? How the hell did this AI come up with My Little Pony? God, this actually makes me a bit worried because that means... How many My Little Pony articles did GPT-2 have to go through when learning English? Oh god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, Valvrave. Valvrave, what are you doing here? How did Valve Ray find its way here? All right, Danmachi fans, we found the newest Danmachi spin-off, this time following the villain's POV. I'll never let you try to pick up girls in a dungeon. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, you've heard of interspecies reviewers, or well, get ready for interspecies catastrophe. <laughs> All right, we've gotten to the point where I think we can make some pretty interesting light novel titles that don't actually exist. Because now it's given me stuff like Classroom Girl, the strongest little sister lives in a fantasy world, which sounds stupid and generic enough to exist. Okay, so getting to the end of this tweaking, what I've noticed is if the title has a reasonable word count in it, it makes some pretty damn convincing titles. Crazy in love with another world's hero. Yep, that could be one. You just made the list! The secret of six trillion years in a fantasy world. Honestly? This actually sounds like an isekai I would like to watch. You just made the list! If you're in a relationship with a girl, you've got a really nice girl. <laughs> okay, now we're just getting into basic sentence construction. This isn't a light novel title. This is just the most AI-generated compliment I've ever heard. This shouldn't be a light novel title, but it should be at least a fake quote. People die when they are killed. The archer class is really made up of archers. If you're in a relationship with a girl, 
You've got a really nice girl. Like, it'll sometimes shit out things like Papa Molester Part 2, the world's strongest and most interesting fake friends, which, I'm not gonna lie, just sounds like an ugly bastard isekai hentai. God, I didn't need to put that in my head. I was reincarnated in another world, now I became a villainess. Isn't that an actual title? Oh, okay, that's what it was called. <laughs> I literally can't tell the difference between real existing light novel titles and AI generated ones now. You know what, I'm actually gonna put this on the list. I'm gonna see if people can actually remember that this isn't a real existing light novel title. Now, another thing we can do is we can choose what word the title should begin with. So, you can put any word you want, or more preferably, you can even put your name and see what titles Trashbot comes up with with your name inserted. So let's give that one a go. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I think I found a small hitch in the program. Um, it'll only take the first word and put it in a title if it actually recognizes that word as a word. So I guess most of this is just the AI trying to figure out what do you do with a word like Giguk? Giguk Monogatari. So, it's somehow just taken my name and put it as one of the Monogatari series. Giguk's big brother lives in another world as a child. Is this why I'm an only child? Giguk, you've got sober girls in a dungeon. What are you insinuating that I do? <laughs> oh no. Sydney! Sydney, come here. What do you think of this title as a light novel? No! <laughs> Oh, I wonder if it recognizes Gant as a name. Let me see this. All right, it doesn't seem to recognize Gant as a name either. Great. I wonder if it will recognize it as a name if I put Grant. I hate my life. Of course it recognizes Grant as a name. That's what everyone thinks my name is every time they first hear my name anyway! All right, so apparently my real name is useless to try and make a light novel title out of using this AI. But luckily, I have two friends who have way more common names who will also be judging the validity of these titles. So let's try them. Joey the Anime Man, let's see what it comes up with. <sighs> well, of course it knows Joey's name. Doesn't know my name, but of course it knows Joey's name. Alright, Joey's apparently comes up with some of the most generic sounding light novel names I've heard of. Joey and the Wholesome Princess. I don't think that's how you spell wholesome. Joey's big sister is a girl. The Archer class is really made up of a- Joey Bisner. Isn't that really close to Joey's actual name? <laughs> Did Trashbot just figure out Joey's name? Joey Biz. How I got naked in another world. <laughs> That's just Joey's name! <laughs> oh, Joey. I always knew you were a fan service harem protagonist. Alright, let's see what Connor comes up with. Of course, it recognizes Connor's name as well. Connor and the killing of the clumsy kid. <laughs> oh god, Connor, what have you been doing? You know, I'm actually a bit salty that most of these actually make sense. And most of them is actually really on brand for Connor as well. Connor is a catastrophe in another world. Yeah, he definitely fucking would be. Connor and the harsh mistress of the city. That doesn't sound like a title. That just sounds like a chapter in his life. Connor and the dopiest wives of harsh mistress summer sex. Oh no. He's actually found his dream title. He's the main character of a MILF hentai. Connor wants to be a hero, but is actually a dick. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Part 2! Another world's strongest gamer! <laughs> How is that so accurate but so stupid? Alright, we're stopping there. We're not gonna get a better one than that. How does Trashbot know that Connor's such a toxic gamer? Look at this. Connor, humanity's strongest gamer. Part 2. It recognizes Connor as a gamer, but not Gant as a name. And I think that's everything now. I have my list of light novel titles from Trashbot that I think sound pretty decent in different levels of complexity. So, the next step is to actually test these with Connor and Joey. So here I am now with the boys. Hey guys, Future Giguk here. So I actually made this experiment a full quiz for the boys, but it goes on for a full 26 minutes. I'll be releasing that as a separate video, but for the purposes of this video, these are clips from some of the questions, which I think highlights the full results of Trashbot's efforts. So basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be playing humans versus robots. 
You both are on one team, so if you guess correctly, then the humans get a point. Oh, okay. We're if you together. lose, then the AI gets a point. Okay, okay. Right. okay. we have to like agree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, well, that never happens. <laughs> so first one is uh, real or fake. So okay. you're going to be given, I have a bunch of titles and I chose like simpler sounding titles. So this is more on concept, mm. right? Okay. Does this concept sound like a real light novel title? Okay. I was born as a dragon knight, but I am your maid. Oh, sorry. I was born as a demon knight, but I am your maid. That sounds fake. <sighs> Am I going to be doing this again? Or I think I'm no. <laughs> There's one point about this where, where I'm thinking that this is real, but this oh. could also easily be the AI just learning. And yeah. that's the fact that it ends in a period. Because there's been like this common trend recently where light novel titles, especially, it's like, it's not just a title, it's a fucking sentence. sentence yeah, yeah. Right? And it ends in a period. I, I think this is too real. It's not. It's not weird enough. Uh, I mean, I think you're like, you're, you're giving too much credit to libels. <laughs> I feel like a lot of them have even weirder things than this, and this is too straightforward. No, yeah. I think I, I don't think, know how I this think is the quirk. Plot. I think the quirk is the fact that like you know he was born as a demon yeah. knight. This really powerful thing, but at the same time, he's the, the fuck is a demon knight? <laughs> well, it's what like a, it's it's a knight that also has demon powers, right? Yeah. And uh, I am your mate. I could see it being real. I could also see it being fake. But I think. <sighs> I don't know. I'm really like this period, man. Like you want to say the, fake? You want to say fake? No, I'm gonna say it's real. It's fake. <laughs> the AI <laughs> is too smart. It's too normal. It's, that's what I mean. Like, there's no like, I fucked my my ten ten year old sister on a trampoline. You know, Where, where's yeah. the your view of light novels is fucking <laughs> whack. That's what they all sound like to me. You know, the unwanted virginity of a genius. I want to read this. <laughs> If it's real. What does this mean? What does this what does this mean? This doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Wants to No one wants his virginity. No one wants his implying? virginity like, because he's a dick, maybe. Uh I, I feel like this is real. Or 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 either the protagonist is is like, you know, has a friend who's yeah. a genius it's, and doesn't want it's to It's just incelly enough where I'm like, Japan would make this. Yeah, this this seems like a real one. It's fake. Fuck, I, Honestly, well, I I read this title and I, I read this. I'm like, I want to read this. Yeah. This this actually sounds. This is a super legit title. Right I mean, here. Can, I, it, can, I, this, can I write this down? Like, it, I want yeah, to just read you of a healer. Because I read this, I'm just like, that sounds like a really unique like rom com right yeah. there. Yeah. It like, it's like, like a genius and he's he doesn't want his virginity. That's that's how I took the yeah, title. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. He, he's a genius and he doesn't want his virginity. Because but Walker. but none yeah. of the girls want. Yeah, but none of the girls want him. That's that's how I read this title. So we're changing up the game a little bit okay. okay so those were the um those were like the shorter titles mm. right those I, the I shorter titles yeah those those were the shorter titles okay yeah i, be I can believe that <laughs> so now i tried to train the ai to make longer titles you, you see some of the like longer more convoluted light novel titles yeah. I wanted to see if there was a method to the madness, if there was any logic between some of the really batshit, crazy, stupid titles, mm. right? So you're gonna be given two titles and you need to tell me which one is the fake one and which one is the real one. Okay, okay. Seriously seeking sister, ultimate vampire princess just wants little sister. Plenty of service will be provided. <laughs> That's gonna be fake. Gravitation War Chronicle, an exiled wizard princess, another chronicle for raising mobs. Uh, that's gotta be fake. <sighs> that's, that reads too poorly. Like, Which leads me to believe that that's real. Vampire princess just wants little sister semicolon plenty of service will be provided. What the fuck is you, that? You, un I feel like you underestimate the stupidness of like all titles. I do think that's real. I, this, one, this one reads so bizarrely. The thing is though, when I look at both of these and I'm thinking of like the Japanese cover of it, yeah. I see this being more of a reality than this one. All right, I'll go with your gut then. I, I'll, I'll go with If I'm gut. wrong, then I'll I revoke I'll, I'll, everything I'll, I just I'll said, but said. I right, feel we'll like the left one is the real All one. All right, fine, we'll go with that then. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I thought so. <laughs> yes, it's so dumb. I like how the I like how you got to this by saying which one makes the least amount of sense. Yeah. You know, th this one makes too much sense. That's this, what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like I feel like it's hard to teach a computer to make just the right about map. Yeah, map yeah that's, I mean, that's that's kind of why I wanted to do this. Cause yeah. I'm just like, yeah. it's whatever. such a specific kind of broken reading that isn't broken, but it, it's just <laughs> nowhere near natural. Crimson princess is not a witch too. A night at the end of days, the complete story of the world's strongest dungeon. Okay. I'm a behemoth, an S ranked monster, but mistaken for a cat. I live as an elf, elf 
cat, uh, elf girl's pets. Yeah, this I, reads so like so many light novels. Yeah, okay, this, this one's this, this read one's like fake, yeah, this reads like a light novel. If this is fake. The bot deserves a very big round of applause. <laughs> this is so good that I, I would believe this is a title. Crimson Princess is not a witch. A knight. The S rank monster is what's really convincing yeah. me. It's real. Yeah. I think that that's something that I would be super. That impressed. is a hundred percent an isekai. Title. Yeah, I would be super impressed if the bot knew how to do that. Yeah. All right, yeah, gut feeling. I'm gonna say the right yeah, one is yeah, real. Me too. Me too. Okay, um, you are correct. But yeah, you're correct. The so, S rank monster thing seems yeah. like yeah. such weird because it's uh, yeah, it's such bizarre knowledge that only like a gamer would use. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that was it. Thank you very much, Joe and Connor, for helping me out with that. If you want to check them out, I mean, come on, you know, you know who it is. You know who they are already. Links in the description. So. What did we learn? Well, first and most importantly, a highly complex and sophisticated AI doesn't recognize Gantt as a name. Fuck my life. But also, an AI is more than capable of making convincing light novel titles and concepts as long as that title is confined to about a sentence or so. And it can make some pretty interesting ones as well, like the unwanted virginity of a genius? Someone needs to make this a real thing. This sounds like an amazing harem rom-com I would pick up from title alone. Like, I need to know how this genius goes about losing his virginity. However, what I find interesting is when we get to the more longer and convoluted titles, there's this really subtle method to the madness that we see with real light novel titles. And whatever that convoluted logic was, an AI wasn't able to grasp it. Like, if anything, the AI made titles made too much sense, which I find absolutely fascinating. If I had more time to put into this, I would love to see how the AI handles Japanese names because then we'd have a far larger database to feed it and also we wouldn't have to worry about weird translations being a factor. And secondly, we use GPT-2 when GPT-3 exists, but this is only available to a select few who actually apply for it. And um, I don't know if OpenAI really wants their hard work to be used for making shitty isekai titles, but if we were able to get access to it, it's meant to be a way more complex AI that's way more sophisticated that uses a far larger number of parameters than GPT-2. So maybe, just maybe, it'll actually acknowledge my fucking name. Yeah, Connor gets to be an epic gamer and Joey gets to be a harem protagonist. And what do I get? A fucking autocorrection. Thanks, Skynet. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Again, thank you to Honkai Impact 3 for sponsoring me today. If you want to try out their game and get all the good freebies that you can get by trying out their event, you can click the link in the description to download it today. And also, I want to give a huge thanks to Fabi for helping me create Trashbot and really making this video possible. You're the real MVP today, Fabi. I really don't know what I would have done if you weren't a patron of mine. This is also a completely new style of content that I'm trying out, so I really do actually hope you enjoyed what you watched. And hopefully I want this to be just the beginning. I have way more wacky ideas that I don't have the expertise to be able to make happen, so if you are some kind of expert in your field, whether that be in the sciences, like physics, chemistry, biology, or whatever, or just engineering, or you know what, even if you're someone working in the fashion industry, I'd love to actually hear from you. So you know what, if you are some kind of expert in your field, whether that be in the sciences or the engineerings, or you know what, even if you've like worked in the fashion industry before or anything else wacky, I'd love to hear from you because I don't know how to make some of these ideas I have a reality. And honestly, in some cases, I don't even know what kind of skill sets I'm looking for. That was a vague enough shout out, right? Like, I, I don't even know if this is going to lead to anything. But anyway, that's it from me for today. I've been Giguk, and I will see you all next time.